uh, works. But then train spotting. That yeah. must have been, was that a couple of years later? Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. another mega film. Yeah, I'd worked with um, Danny Boyle on a, he had been the head of BBC drama in Northern Ireland and he'd done this, um, it was a really good, I think it was called like Play for Today or something like that, but it was it was called The Night Watch, you know, the same as the, the big mm -hmm. uh, Rembrandt painting. And it was about these mercenaries who were waiting in Amsterdam to go to Africa and then it all turns to shit and there's a big, you know, bloodshed and all that sort of stuff. So I was playing one of the mercenaries and, and Danny directed it. And so I'd worked with Danny before and I knew, you know, what a stellar director he was, you know, something else. So when he, he phoned and, and said, I want you to meet whatever the producer's name was of, of train spotting, I went along and yeah, that was, that was it. I wanted to play Renton's dad. Did you know back then how good Danny Boyle was as yeah, a director? Yeah. You can, t <clears throat> you, you know, you can usually tell in the first day when you're on a set with somebody if they're if they're okay, and you can also tell if they're absolutely stellar. And he was because I know Arvin Well, she's a good friend, and he wrote the book. And see, when you got the script for it, yeah. did you know again that it was going to be as big as what it was? No, no, I, I didn't know if a film like that would would. Um, would um, translate to the American audience and, and the greater English audience, really, you know. Because but, of the accent? Yeah, because of the accent, because of the the um, the, the, the social group that, it, that it, it was about, you know. You think, you, you would think maybe, well, maybe this film would, it would do well as a, an art house film, um, you know, it'd be of interest to people that were really into movies and all that sort of thing. But will it, will it be a, a huge mega success? No, nah, probably not. It bloody was. And that was mainly due to, to Danny. All the boys that and, kicked, and the script, of All course. the boys that kicked on from that, Ewan McGregor. My Bob, goodness. Bobby yeah. Carlyle. Yeah. Every, everyone ended up Hollywood actors. They did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How was Bobby to work with Carlyle? Oh, he's fabulous. He was, what a part he played. Aye. Oh, <clears throat> Standout, standout part. Mad bastard. Oh, absolutely. Do you know these guys? I uh, know people like that. Oh, oh fuck, I. <laughs> he must have known people like that. Of course he played does. that part. Yeah, yeah. Because he played yeah. it to perfection. Yeah, he did, I. But everybody made it. Again, do you feel that? There's not one just carries a film that there's got to be yeah. that team effort. Yeah, yeah. There's a, you know, one one should never think that, um, you know, that, that, my character or my performance is the one that's going to make the film. If you're not backed up by everyone, that's that's why you should always appreciate someone in the same movie as you or the same scene as you being absolutely terrific. You should never feel threatened by that. You should feel grateful for that because he's going to make you look great. Mm -hmm. You know, to work with someone that's a truly wonderful actor is... It's a great privilege and, and sh you know, you should never feel um, that he's a danger to you or he's stealing the scene or whatever. Nah, not at all. Let them get on with it. Is this when you felt your career was, it made sense for everything that you've done through the years, the working, not working, and then yeah. was that your, you kind of thought, okay, this is it? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was certainly a, a, a huge high point in my career. It was, it was amazing. And I knew that, that it would have, you know, you're saying about train spotting. I, I knew that, uh, I remember sitting with Randall Wallace, who wrote the movie, and we were sitting in Neary's Bar in Dublin, because most of it was shot in, in, uh, just outside Dublin on the Curra and all that, all the battle scenes, because we had 3,000 of the, Irish Territorial Army, that's who the extras were, mm. who were fantastic, um, really wonderful. Um, but I was sitting with Randall and I remember saying to him, I think this is going to have a huge effect on politics in Scotland and, and Britain. And he went, nah, it's, it's just a movie. I said, I don't think so. And I think I was right, you know, for good or bad, I think I was right.